welcome back to some more uh, Civilization 4 action, and uh, yes, it's going to be uh, the uh, Mod Mod Magister, or it's called the Magister Mod Mod, which is a mod of uh, Follows More Naval AI, which in turn is a mod of uh, Fall from Heaven 2, which uh, yeah, is a mod for Civilization 4, so bloody mods all over the place. So it's been a bit of a while since I've played, but I do believe I've set everything into motion, so yeah, so as you can see, I've been. Uh, Boxed in a little bit by the other civilizations. Uh, I'm starting to run out of places to to expand to. I do have a couple of places to expand, to, like here, and I believe I've got a something or rather heading over here as well. Maybe. Hopefully, I'll just see what we have for production. Worker X Men. So. Huh. So I thought I was sending an archer down here to mark where the next place would be to expand to. But yeah, as you can see, yes, yeah, still running out of uh, usable terrain, bloody just tundra down there, and uh, yeah, pretty dandy. Uh, clearly, at least when it comes to score, I'm second, and we'll just have a look at the... that's the wrong thing. What the damn... oh yeah, we've got all the victory uh, stuff enabled, settings... that's wrong, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there we go, pretty standard stuff there. Perfect. And yeah, I believe we've also been attacked by giant spiders, wolves, and uh, various other no nasty things as well. So, from here we should continue onwards. And yeah, of course the map is Terra, which basically... Uh, well, it's randomly generated, of course, but it's meant to roughly resemble uh, Earth, uh, with sort of Earth-like continents. You have basically an old world, uh, the new world, which represents the Americas, and, and uh, what they call the third world, which represents uh, various uh, smaller continents and islands that are strewn around randomly. But anyway, we'll continue onwards, and everyone starts in the old world, of course. So anyway, we'll continue onwards. Uh, of course, got bloody skeletons in this barrow, which is freaking dandy. Apparently it's suggesting for me to settle there, but... Ah, here we go. So this is the guy. Okay, so yep, we're going to be expanding there. Instead, a bit of desert, but if I can get water mana, that wouldn't be too bad, really. Easily convert that desert into something usable. Now, I don't know if that bug's been corrected, but um, uh, in previous versions of the mod mod, uh, if the desert had fresh water, or rather, it if it was near fresh water, like fresh water lake, for example, you weren't able to terraform that. So I'm not sure why. But uh, you do. Anyway, we'll just build a settlement right next to, or rather, yeah, a new city right next to Bloody Barrow. I think I'm just training up some soldiers to take that out as well. And well, monument it is. Don't think we should be under too much threat of attack. And this guy's building a road to. Oh, okay, to the deer, of course. I guess I could just uh, build maybe a road here just to connect that up. And there we go, finally, we can actually take advantage of uh, claim resources. This Axeman, yeah, whatever, just heal up it fast. At least he's got a nice little defensive bonus up there. And what else was I training? So we got bloody warriors. God, i still got bloody warriors, and I believe it. Uh, so I was training my ex uh, X men as I guess I said it was going to go down here, well, went down wherever the other archer was going. And we've also got a second X men coming in, I think, to take out the um, skeleton along with this X men here. Maybe we're using the uh, archer to bombard them a bit. Or at least that's what I'm guessing anyway. <laughs> but as you can see, yes, things have been set into motion, and I'm again counter slowly rising. So, of course, as a shame, I wanted to rise as quickly as possible, as, uh, yeah, they basically get um, various bonuses from. Uh, higher Armageddon count, and yeah, the world spell uh, does destruction in enemy lands. Uh, and it depends on how high the Armageddon counter is as well. I've never actually used it myself though. So anyway, the X-Men, and... Huh, what happens if we get this guy to put about 25% damage? I wonder if that skeleton will heal up that damage by the next turn. I guess we'll find out one way or another. And there we go, got that nice little X-Men built there as well. Oh, speaking of which, the planet gate. Yeah, oh, probably should get a bloody adept at some point, although Planet Gate would be pretty nice though. Ah, yeah, screw up Planet Gate, it is, why not? Alright, and this skeleton. Oh, it hasn't actually completely healed, I'll be damned. So if we get this guy again to bomb. Whoops, to bombard. And we'll just get this guy. Let's see if he keeps moving here. 97. Yes, thank God for that. And. Oh, hunting, of course, God damn it! Oh, that's right, I'm making a beeline for Corruption of Spirits so I can get the uh, Ashen Vale religion, which hopefully has not been founded yet. Nope, no one else has gone for it, so we've got bloody Octopus Overlords, of course, which I was originally considering. Someone else founded it before me, so called Screw It. Fellowship of the Leaves, not to be confused with Fellowship of the Rings. Ruins of Kilmorph, and of course, the Order. So, wow, just about everything has been... Um, 
found it at this point. But anyway, let's. Uh, well, what the hell? Might as well make a winery there. Screw it. And we'll just send this guy towards the uh, south as well. There we go. And this guy is still going to heal up. And I oh, can still might be able to take him out actually. But now nah, screw it. Time to heal up a bit more. He's still got that defensive bonus and everything. And hopefully the bear will just suicide itself against him. Maybe not. No. God damn it. Really join the lodges. Jesus Christ. Uh, bloody heal giants. Wow, even then I've got bonus against. Well, well screw it, I keep them fortified there anyway. And let's see, we do have a nice little hill build. Ah, not hill, a road build built on the hill itself. Really? It's just going to go there, but I can only build a freaking lumber mill, which is just down there. Okay. Uh, well, actually, my mine wouldn't hurt, really. I screw it, so I'm going to put a mine up here. And there we go, bam, we'll just get him to cast Explore Lair and something will probably pop up and kill my worker in the next turn. I bet you will. Oh, no, never mind. And he's got a healing cell, I'll be damned. Uh, healing cell, completely heals the unit. Yeah, screw it, it's like that does that much anyway. This guy, wow, he's actually, I wonder what that skull and crossbones is. I was going to investigate that. And Blah blah blah. Damn it to hell, where's. Oh, that's a skull, but I need to skull for crossbones though. Where the hell is Mustaval? Really, Mustaval. Uh, that's alright. So that's okay. Damn it to hell. I think. Ah, hidden nationality, of course. Barbarian unit, blah blah blah. blah. Interesting thing to have on a hill giant. I think he's got it, got it as well. Interesting. And what the hell, screw it. We'll uh, stick this guy here. I suppose he's got the fortified bonus and everything. And yeah, so this guy. Yeah, go back up there, you bastard. And what the hell? Why is this guy stopping all of a sudden? He's meant to go all the way down somewhere or other. Here was it? I think it was here. For some reason, he decided to stop. Maybe he glimpsed a bloody barbarian unit or something. Uh, just freaking dead. And is this thing? Ah, oh, of course, producing power set on the first. Probably didn't really need to bother that, but what the hell? Uh, one, two, one, two, three. Yes, yeah, screw it. The greatest place to expand. Actually, one, two. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Do I have another archer that's heading down? No, I don't think I do. Wait a minute, but surely I, I couldn't have wanted to expand up there, though. Ah, oh, it's just way too damn close. And yeah, this is just too close to bloody Dove Yellow territory. Now ah, screw it, I'll just expand here for the time being. Keep this guy up here, hopefully the hill giants will just, just suicide himself and try to take out my warrior. Oh, my, not my warrior, my, uh, what you call it, uh, X-Men. And there we go, so my guys. Good sheep as well, so what the hell, we'll just send this guy out slowly but surely to reinforce this guy. I suppose we'll just uh, leave him there to heal himself up and... Hopefully we should have a settler coming in. So yeah, I noticed that Corruption Spirit Course is going to take a pretty long time to research. Hopefully I might be able to change that with... Actually, do I even have education? Oh, God damn it. <sighs> Alright, I better get education first before I get Corruption of Spirit. Damn it, I can't believe I didn't even think of that. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, we'll do that one straight after. Because yeah, I really do need to get some cottages out. I really should have got them out beforehand. Whoopsie long. Oh well, and there we go, he killed off the hill giant as well. Thank God for that. So now we can focus on... Let's probably could get a few adepts out, but screw it, I'll get a planner gate out first. There we go. And smokehouse. <laughs> Just planner gates everywhere, I wonder. We should focus on uh, getting stuff to grow, so granary, smokehouse. And... Ah, what the screw it, the council, why not? Oh, there we go, perfect. Actually, I think I might just get this guy to explore a bit further to the south. To the Great Wastes. And this guy, yeah, fuck it, leave him to defend. And finally can get this guy to set up shop there. How long has this gone? Oh, nine turns, really. I wonder if I should just get him into friendly territory. I wonder if actually that will be faster. Uh, well, there's not much good to me. Here. Oh, wait a minute, I do have a setter incoming, though. Four, five... Ah, it's screw, we'll just get him to heal up there, I suppose. <laughs> nice little theme to uh, Lord of the Rings there, just 
watched that uh, a couple of days ago. Pretty nice little movie, actually. Yeah. Well, all three of them, should I say. Yeah, that latest movie, The uh, Unexpected Journey, or whatever it's called. Yeah, not so much so. But, uh, yeah, the original Lord of the Rings trilogy, pretty nice. And watch the uh, extended version, which uh, is pretty nice as well. Anyway, let's see... Nice bit of mystical music there. Yeah, screw it, we'll uh, put up a uh, lumber mill up there, I suppose. Oh, there we go, finally getting uh, more money coming in, although... I'm not really sure from what, though, to be honest. What's that? What the hell? <coughs> God damn, I really need to get that religion up. Anyway, let's uh, put that down and we'll have to check this. Oh no, that's the wrong thing. So, who's got what kind of power? Power. God damn. I'm mainly better than the Lord of the which are down here. Well, it's just freaking dandy. Because, yes, I'll probably have to consider war at some point, because while I don't have the aggressive uh, civilizations option enabled. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I, um. Yeah, they're still going to, you know, declare war uh, when, if the opportunity should pre present itself. But uh, anyway, in the meantime, yeah, we'll just uh, have that thing there and... <laughs> really? Actually, how many turns to get uh, hunting anyway? Twelve turns. Yeah, it's turns I'd rather not waste though. It's only to get a bloody deer resource. Don't really see anything else that can be hunted. Actually, I already have cow resource here, so do good. The good old fruit of your grassil, the forbidden fruit. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Well, oh, probably should uh, set up sh uh, pasture there while I'm at it. Huh. Damn it! What to do? What to do? Because yeah, I could just temporarily make up a. Um, it's got a lumber mill there, but then I just have to tear it down after. Ah, screw it. I think I'll just put a lumber mill down there while I'm at it. And what can this book I make? Nox Nodus and Trade Mission. Out to hell with that freaking trade mission. God, trade mission. That's a good one. Alright, let's see. Yeah, um, oops, who's got most co number of coins? Oh, of course, Gal does. But wait a minute, that's only because. Whoops, let's go back. Uh, because I have God King enabled. I want to enable God Aristocracy, then once I get. Um, my last city down, one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth city to be thrown down here. Yes, yeah, so actually, I might as well just switch to aristocracy now while I'm at it. Oh, God, I can't even do that because I don't have code of laws, actually. Uh, and I'm guessing I need to get education to get that, yep. And yep, it's going to take additional time. God, damn it. Alright, then we'll go for freaking corruption of spirit, I suppose. I suppose at least we should take that much longer now that I'm researching at a slightly faster rate. It's still kind of annoying though. Uh, oh, well, what the hell? Makes an interesting game. Alright, so ignoring this city, what else do you have? Grotteberg, which is a planar gate. Well, actually, once I convert this terrain to um, something usable, I probably would be better off. Oh, freaking audio gate. Ah, oh, okay, of course. Um, probably would be better off. We're putting uh, cottages because here we don't basically don't have any room for cottages. It's going to be more of a production city, so I guess we'll focus Grotteberg as the uh, money, money-making city. And bam, there we go. Join up, your bastard! Oh, I was actually giving it a bit of extra food. <laughs> Not bad. The planner gates. <coughs> Sorry, the planner gates are uh, underway. Yeah, just a little round and date. Okay, I'll cancel. Perfect. Should I just get a planet out of mine there, I wonder? Uh, or a market. Eh, probably better off getting a market instead of Scrot. Mm. Also, focus a bit on the uh, domestic side of things. Mm. And what else do we have? Oh, that's right, the land mill to be built there. Settler to expand. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Settler to expand there. That guy should hopefully start healing up much faster now that he's in my cultural borders. And of course, oh, that's right, this thing isn't even linked by road, is it? It's not connected to capital, there we go, of course. So how long is this going to take now? Four turns, I suppose it's not too bad. And I probably could do with more workers, though. Actually, wait a minute, what was I going to put in the market? Uh, actually, how long growing two turns? Hmm. Well, let's see, who's doing really well when it comes to food? Ah, oh, of course, to a stat. Uh, what about Galvin Home? Oh, that's right, it's building a planner gate. Ah, fuck it, we'll get him to build a 
Make sure I mark it first and then I work it actually once it's uh, expanded. 